There it is, in all its magnificent beauty. It's about half past three. Um, you can see my accommodation for tonight, or certainly the uh, support for it, up behind me. Um, must say, a bit of trepidation. Um, as I said, I think, uh, a couple of videos ago when I introduced the idea of this, um, I'm not a big fan of heights. And uh, so this is going to be quite interesting. I'm not sure how big that windmill is because we can't get any closer than this until about 6.30 this evening. Um, so the next footage you see will actually have me. I'm six foot four, so I'll be standing next to it and we'll see how, look, how big it looks. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how small people are or how small they look when I'm up in the hammock, halfway up it, or as far as I can get up it. But it looks like to me now that the blades are actually passing past the ladder. So when I'm in the hammock, the blades should be passing just above my head somewhere. This is the setup of the uh, hammock that I'm using. Um, this is the way that it's supposed to look. Um, so you can see all the spreader bars in there and the uh, climate mat down at the bottom. It's really hard to imagine how big these things actually are because normally you don't get anywhere close to them um, so you're looking at them from a distance and you can't really appreciate um, as I say how big these things are they're, they're enormous this turbine is by no means a big one uh, it's, I think it's a, a medium-ish one I think it's about a hundred kilowatts believe that I'm up this high it's uh, it certainly takes your breath away now I'm setting the main line that I use for my climbing system um, and I'll also be sleeping in this harness because I want to tie off the line myself I've got to come all the way down again um, and I also have to attach the hammock to myself so when I climb back up I can then anchor the hammock off Thank you. 
my climbing gear is almost all Petzl gear. The um, Petzl Ascender, the Petzl IDS Descender, uh, Petzl Sequoia um, Harness, which is an Arborist Harness, and a Petzl Chest Rig. I can confirm that getting into this hammock is a challenge. Um, when I first got my Amok hammock, that was a challenge, but this is more of a challenge. By this point, I was absolutely knackered.
the wind's picking up. I don't know whether you can hear the turbine. So I've uh, also uh, I've just put my chest rig around the hammock and lashed it to the ladder so that if the wind picks up in the night, which it's not supposed to, but if it does, then uh, I've got some degree of uh, stability, so I'm not going to get blown around. And seeing as the blades are only about a metre and a half, two metres above me, don't really want to be blown, blown into those. So safety first, safety second, and self-preservation, top of the list. Oh dear. Ooh, juddering. It's quite a funny feeling, this. I'm not sure whether it constitutes a good feeling. I did have lots of plans to do things up in this, but I don't, I don't think I could. I don't think my body would bend in those sorts of places or ways. Perhaps I need to do some yoga. Um, hmm, we'll see. So just check my watch, it's uh, half nine now, so uh, I'm going to go to sleep, well I'm going to try and go to sleep, and uh, I hopefully will see you in the morning, and hopefully I'll still be where I am at the moment. Times like this, you just dig deep, suck it up and wait for daybreak. <laughs> it's pissing down outside. It's that really fine rain that gets everything wet. Um, and the, the bottom end of the fly, the fly sheet doesn't seem to fit or stay fitted around the bottom of the bed. So the bottom of my quilt is soaking. Um, I'm not cold though, I'm, I'm warm. But, uh, yes, I wouldn't rate it as uh, one of the most comfortable nights I've had. Possibly not the most uncomfortable, but um, it's certainly up there. The fly sheet is utter pants. Absolutely useless. I've got very soggy feet now. Small situation update. The Klimit mat has done it again. It's moved from underneath, or fully underneath me, so now it's kind of a jaunty angle in the hammock. And there's absolutely no way I can get it back straight again. So uh, it's a little bit cold underneath me. Um, it seems to have stopped raining now for the moment. I uh, don't know what time it is. Uh, the wind's changed direction because I can tell because the turbines have uh, have moved round a bit. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try and get a little bit more sleep. We'll see what happens. About quarter to two now. Quarter to two. Doesn't sound very good, does it? Good morning, everyone. Oh, dear. Well, I did sleep. 
Where are you going? It's a bit of a chilly now. Got a soggy bum. Um, no, I like this blue sky. So, uh, I'm going to be disembarking this oh, holiday train. They'd pack it up and dry it off, and uh, I'm going up to Smoky Joe's for breakfast. The, the way that people say, uh, oh, are you doing anything interesting this afternoon? And I, one of the women on the uh, checkout said that, and I said, well, actually, yes, I'm sleeping up a wind turbine tonight. She said, you're kidding. I said, no. And I said, uh, she said, oh, well, I, he, he goes a video or something. And I said, yes. So it's going to go onto the, uh, onto the channel. And uh, I said we were coming in for breakfast this morning, and uh, I gather that she's working again today, so... Uh, um, she's going to tell her mates and uh, we'll show her a little bit of the footage um, and uh, hopefully she'll enjoy it and uh, perhaps watch the channel hmm. anyway I'm going to call Sarah and uh, see if we can get this uh, this uh, downward process started safely waiting for Richard to wake up I thought he'd have been awake by now about half five, so I thought I'd take a, a little look at one of the chapters of Unpack Your Existence. Could be a while. Morning. Morning. This is not the most elegant disembarkation of a hammock, but uh, I'm sure I'll get better with practice. This was a majorly scary bit. This is the first time I've ever abseiled, and so really it's the first time I've been at any height hanging on that thing.
so good. Morning! Richard, I think you've forgotten something. What? You've forgotten to unattach the thing. <laughs> you have to go back up. Might I suggest shoes this time? Best moment. Oh my god. Show that again. Hang on, hang on. Sailing number two. Look, the sun's come out. This is shadow camping. Look, there's two of them. say <clears throat> leave no trace and apart from this enormous great white thing we've left no trace good morning again we're at Smoky Joe's um, waiting for them to open because we're a little early 
Um, I think I spent 11 hours in the hammock last night um, and unfortunately I forgot to put Sarah's tent up because when we arrived I've been planning this thing for three and a half m months I think and it's taken that long to get all of the permissions to do it um, helped along significantly well completely by um, a friend of ours a good friend of ours who's uh, part owner of it um, but uh, like I say I've been planning it for about three three and a half months and when we got there I just started doing the plan and unfortunately part of the plan about putting Sarah's tent up was the part that I hadn't planned um, so Sarah slept in the car last night which probably was no bad thing because it was pretty soggy out there um, like I said in some of the footage from inside the uh, the hammock there are some quite significant changes that I need to make to that hammock to make it usable um, which I'll have a look at and I'll maybe video the changes that I make on it um, and uh, I will definitely be using it again but I shan't be sleeping up another wind while I don't think not in that um, I think sleeping from the trees in it it would be a lot better because because of the angle um, that the hammock was on because you were obviously tied off to the ladder then it was swinging into the ladder and so it was, it was actually quite uncomfortable down my right hand side but uh, quite emotional coming back down to the floor um, and quite a relief and boy was I disappointed that I'd left my ascender at the um, the top of the uh, where I was so there we go anyway um, we're going to have breakfast and I hope you've enjoyed this epic video um, it was certainly epic for me and it had uh, highs and lows um, but uh, anyway we'll see you on the next video hopefully we'll see you on the next video